Hey everyone, before we start off with the Knuckles playthrough, I want to show you a couple things. I mean, I could have put these in a bonus video, but I'm too lazy to make one right now, and I think it makes more sense to see these before you actually watch the Knuckles playthrough. So, first of all, here's our save file that we just did. We got the nice portrait of Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, and you can play any zone you want now. And I, all those uh, big ass emeralds around Sonic and Tails represent the super emeralds, whereas on this file, for comparison, smaller ones represent just having the chaos emeralds. So, I want to show you what happens when you beat the game as just supersonic instead of hypersonic. And on Doomsday Zone, there is literally no difference between playing a supersonic and hypersonic besides, you know, graphic of your character. So, enjoy how annoying the Doomsday Zone music is when you speed it up five times. Like, holy shit, I didn't even realize that until right now. That is so goddamn annoying. Just holy shit. Anyways, luckily it's almost over. And... Here we go. So, there's a couple differences between the supersonic and hypersonic ending. Nothing major. It's still a good ending, but the first difference is you turn back into regular Sonic way earlier, like in when you're still falling, as with hypersonic, where you turn back into regular Sonic once you land on the plane. Not a big deal, I just suppose you want to show hypersonic's more powerful than supersonic. So, the other main difference is there is no scene where Knuckles is all showing you his gratitude, or whatever the whole point of that scene was. And the next thing that's different is after the credits, so let's just speed these up super fast, because, I mean, come on. <laughs> Those dolphins look pretty funny. Anyways. So, obviously, this part's different, too, because you're a nice picture of Supersonic. But, what I wanted, the, main, the only thing I really want to show you is after this scene, instead of getting a nice graphic of the logo and the characters, we get this, a pile of broken egg robos, except, oh, what's that? One of them's still alive. Oh, oh, oh. So, yeah. I'd still say that's a good ending, but I guess it just, this shows that some shit's about to go down, so you didn't do good enough. So, that Egg Robo, that's the main villain of the Knuckles playthrough, FYI. And there's something else I want to show you for when you're just playing on Sonic and Knuckles. So I guess this is the first time, well I don't know if the first time you've seen it, but this is the first time I'm showing Sonic and Knuckles intro. So it shows the Death Egg crashing down, and then Sonic and Knuckles. Sonic and Knuckles. Do you want to be Sonic? Do you want to be Knuckles? There's no save system, there's just, do you want to play Sonic or Knuckles? So choose. So for this we're picking Knuckles, because there's a nice little cutscene before you start playing the game. It's just Knuckles chilling out with all his animal buddies and, you know, having a good time, and, oh my god, JC a bomb! Blah! Anyways. Here's this fucking egg robo. I guess he dropped the bomb and didn't kill any animals, just being a dick. So I don't know what his beef with Knuckles is, but yeah. Time to time to kick his ass. So yeah. Now we'll switch over to the live Knuckles playthrough, so here you go. Alright, hey, welcome to the Knuckles playthrough of Angel Island Zone. I, su I suppose, I mean, I guess this is the first video, but I don't need to do a whole introduction thing, so I mean, come on. Anyways, I trust you've already seen my pre-recorded video, already pre-recorded, about these two silly files. So let's just move right along into a new Knuckles file. So, what's Knuckles' deal? He can't jump as high as Sonic? And he can't run as fast, and he's overall he's just really sluggish and slow, and, and really just he's a big piece of shit, and I hate playing as him. Except he can do this. He can do that. That's gliding. And something else he can do, besides gliding, is something else he can do besides gliding is. Oh my God, let me just. Is he can do. You can do this! You can climb on walls. That's what I'm trying to show you. You can climb up and down walls. And something else you can do that's not really as important is, you know there's a lot of walls, you know, Sonic needs to spin dash into to break. Knuckles just walk into them. Bam. Out of the way. Fuck that noise. And will I be getting special stages? Sure, why not. And wow. I, have, I couldn't have less to say about special stages. I mean, I've... You knew I didn't have anything to say the first time about these, let alone the second time. In fact, the first time I didn't even make you watch most of them, but... Uh, I guess because it's live commentary, I can't, you know, edit this out. That would be... That would be cheating, I suppose, so... Oh well. 
You guys are just gonna have to watch this or skip it, I don't know. In fact, why even watch this video? Just, just skip it from right to the end. That's probably the best course of action. But, um, yeah, so I guess I should explain what the whole deal is. Why am I even doing this if I think it's kind of retarded in the first place? Well, when you play as Knuckles, not only do you have a bunch of different, like, kind of a different character and stuff, so you have different, like, moves, I suppose, but Knuckles' game is actually quite different. Oh, we've got a Chaos Symbol. He's got different paths he can take. In fact, certain zones, certain acts of certain zones are completely different, as you will see. Act 2 of Angel Island Zone is totally different from Sonic's run. And just the bosses are the same, except for a couple. But they're harder, and I'll show you. Man, I'm already using my material for the boss fight now, because I'm running low. Um, so, I guess... Let's see, look at that. That's cool. I guess I'll try and show you some different routes, but I figure my Tails playthrough will be showing the alternate routes mostly because, you know, Tails, he has the exact same levels as Sonic and shit, except, you know, he can fly. In fact, Tails is literally just the Sonic game, except different super forms and he can fly. Anyways, Knuckles' game is pretty much exactly the same for the most part, even though, you know, like, this has already happened. Like, they, you have, might notice the Angel Island's, like, floating, as you can see in the background. There's no, like, ocean off in the distance. But yeah, I guess... The only real difference... Uh, there's no difference, really, until the uh, Sky Sanctuary Zone. You know, the whole story seems pretty much the same. But instead of Robotnik, you got the Egg Robo. And this confused me a lot as a child, because I thought it was supposed to be, like, concurrent to Sonic's story. Like, oh, the Egg Robo's there, so Knuckles doesn't know Robotnik's the real bad guy, but whatever. I finally understand this game's complex, intuitive, interesting, deep story. But, um, yeah, Knuckles' playthrough, it's pretty much an entirely different experience than Sonic's playthrough. I mean, Sonic and Knuckles especially, you'll see that when we get there, but like I mentioned several, several times, he has a different, oh shit, he has a different final boss. <laughs> And, um, it's actually pretty cool, it's one of my favorite bosses in the series, and... Man, I need to focus on this special stage. I'm not that good. This is why... Let me explain why I didn't do live commentary in the first place. You might notice that all my commentary is shit awful, it's just, it's horrible. That's because I can't do live commentary, and I was thinking of, like, a gimmick for Knuckles playthrough. I was like, well, I guess I'll do live commentary, that'll be funny. But no, that was a horrible, horrible idea, because I have nothing to say, and here's a secret you might not know. Every, not every, but for most of Sonic 3 and Knuckles, all my commentary is literally at least five separate MP3s threaded together, because I can, you know, go commentary, talk for, like, three, two or three minutes, and then my brain just stops thinking up words to say out loud. So I have to stop it and then put that commentary on, and then I have to start from the point that ended. And yeah, so I'm not good at live commentary. I can't even do post-commentary, if you haven't noticed. And this is an interesting experiment to see how many of you are even going to be bothered watching this horrible thread if it doesn't have silly editing, which I assume will be about eight of you people, so okay. Anyways, so, here's the first, you know, real divergence, like, okay, I gotta go, keep fight the boss, let me jump on here, oh wait, you can't jump on that, because Knuckles is, just, he gets, he's too, he's too buff, so it just breaks, and he can't jump high enough to get up there, if you try and do that, that happens, so, where do you go, oh, all these things that you saw at Sonic Run that you can do anything with, that's for Knuckles, so the boss, Again, now it's time, finally time to show you. So, pretty much the same, but oh, oh, what's this? Not that. Missiles! He fires missiles now. Other than that, he's pretty much exactly the same. And I'm too busy trying to show off his stupid extra attack that's harmless that I keep getting hit. Oh my god, why am I getting hit on the first boss? This is a train wreck of the highest caliber. As long as I don't die, I don't have to scrap this recording. That would be too embarrassing to show people. Just fucking die. God damn it. Okay. You might notice I'm also no good at this game. This is a combination of me never playing as Knuckles and that I'm simply not as good at this game as you probably think because I abused a lot of safe states and stuff when I was recording but I never told you guys because I wanted to look cool in front of Doc Future and Trintragula. 